and I'm back with another video about Grace Hopper's conference. So this conference is an international conference where women in tech from all over the world come in to USA. Um, so last year it was held in Orlando and this time it will again be held in Orlando in 2020. So last year I attended it and I realized how huge and how important that conference was for all the women in tech and i'm here to help you as a student to a student uh, how to how you can get scholarships how to attend career fair and the entire planning of how to approach this conference so let's get started so about this conference this conference is held every year and it is named after a woman called Grace Hopper. She was a US Navy Rear Admiral and she was also a computer scientist. So she worked on the first Harvard Mark I computer and she invented the first compiler in 1952. So this conference is named after her. So about the events and the tickets. Um, last year it was held in Florida in 2019 and this year in 2020 it will be held from September 29th to October 2nd uh, in Florida again. So as a student I would like to say that getting a scholarship is a safe bet because the tickets get over in minutes. So it's better that you try to get some or the other form of scholarship. So Anita B organization, um, they provide scholarship. So that covers the entire trip, the flight, the food, the stay, everything. And the volunteer scholarship, which um, I got in 2019, covers the registration fee. So the scholarship, the entire scholarship also provides the registration fee. So last time it was $400 or $450, the registration fee, I'm not sure, but so that was covered for me and um, also a lot of other companies also covers um, also provide you scholarships like Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Whatever links I could find, I have attached them in the link below. So please check them out and try to apply before the deadlines so that um, you know you don't have to wait during the day of, the, of booking the ticket and struggle for getting the ticket. So there are a lot of events that happen simultaneously. So what you need to do is that first thing, try to book your ticket as soon as the registration opens up if you're not able to get any scholarship. So once that is done, so I have written a blog here and I'll definitely link this blog too so that you'll get a more detailed description. So the second thing you need to do is that since the events happen simultaneously, look up what events are happening. Make a list of events that you are interested in and the timings too and the location too so that when the event registration opens, so yeah, you need to register for the events too. So when that opens up, select the ones that you are interested in and then click submit. So there are some few invite only events. Don't select those unless you got an invite for them because um, yeah, you're not invited. So. Yeah, that and in Orlando, there are three buildings, there are three locations, Orange County Convention Center, Hayat and Rosenkrauser. So all these three buildings are connected and 
events happen in these three buildings. So the location is given. So go to that specific room or hall and then attend the event. So once you select the events, though I made a list, there's an app, an official app of GHC. So once you log in, whatever event that you have selected will be listed out there so that when you go around, you need not carry a paper. You can check your phone and swipe through the emails and attend whatever you want. And also, there's career fair. So, I'll come to that soon. Coming to the stay, um, GHC provides a list of hotels that you can book. So, try to book uh, the hotel from this list because there's a shuttle, there are a bunch of shuttles that go around these hotels to the convention hall so that you don't need to pay extra for the cab. You can just take these shuttles and these shuttles are every 15 minutes. So that way you can save up and um, also when the hotels hotel booking opens up, try to book it fast because the cheaper ones get filled faster than the costlier ones. So try to get those hotels and um, I have posted the 2019 hotel registration link. The new one is not up yet, so keep checking the website. So just go try to wear business casuals and make sure it's comfortable because you need to be in that for the whole day. And wear shoes. So that was one mistake that some of my friends did. <clears throat> they didn't wear shoes, they had heels or flats. And you need to walk for the whole day. You'll be walking the entire day. So it's always better to wear shoes and not take a risk. So you can also carry two casual outfits that you can wear outside, I guess. And carry some snacks. So there are um, snacks that will be provided randomly. Um, but you might not be there at that time. So they, they don't guarantee that they'll give you food but randomly they have food at different places even in some events they provide food and things like that but it's always better to carry snacks and carry a water bottle and always stay hydrate, hydrated every time also carry a small bag which is comfortable enough so i had a string bag and it hurt a lot because it's it was strings so just carry a normal small bag the carrier fair so this is the world's biggest carrier fair so of course you should be looking forward to a lot of companies and a lot of teams that are that come there to hire you and so there are seven points that I am going to talk about so the first one is that you need to upload your resume to the resume database of GHC so GHC has a database so upload your resume and they'll ask you to reformat everything so do that and submit your resume this way a lot of companies can look at your resume and email you or contact you for interviews so a lot of people get interviews on um, site on in GHC this way so the second thing is I have a link to the map of the entire GHC for Orlando so I have linked it down there so there's the carrier fair that you need to look up and the list of companies given so on the left side if you see this exhibitor list so go through the list of companies and select the companies that you want to interview with so there are 400 um, plus companies that attend and you can talk to each and every company so it's better that you make a list of the companies find out about those companies find out what they do it's always better to know what the company does before you go approach it, approach them. So do that and um, go check their website. Also, companies have GHC links specific for GHC. So some companies have GHC roles on their own websites. So if you find them, go apply to them and not to any other role. Because um, when you apply to GHC roles, and uh, you get probably an initial first coding round that way you can try to get an interview round during GHC so that's what a lot of people did so that way when you come to the booth and there are a lot of booths so when you come to the booth um, you can say that you finish the coding round and you want to take the interview are there any interview slots so that's important to do. Check out their websites, check out if there are any GHC links. If not, it's okay. That means 
they don't have any links and you can come there and talk to them in the booth so this exhibitor list also has the booth numbers so make a note of all the booth numbers and all the companies that you want to meet so that it's faster when you go there and you want to talk to them and try to prepare in for data structures algorithms os cs fundamentals and behavioral and especially your resume so be prepared with your resume and make sure you know everything that's on your resume because of course they'll ask you about it and try to make third third point is try to make 30 to 40 or 40 to 50 copies of your resume because there are a lot of companies that you would be meeting so it's always better to have them in hand there are also printers at ghc but it's always better to be prepared beforehand also be prepared with your elevator pitch so that is like a one to two minute talk about yourself it's it might be, it can be about yourself whatever is mentioned on your resume or anything extra you want to talk about so make sure you impress the person that you're talking to the employee and get that interview i also made business cards it, it is not necessary that you make but um if you make a business card you can even contact with uh, you can even um talk to other peers and network with them more and share your cards also um connect to as many people as possible in li on linkedin and i'll come back to linkedin soon coming to my fourth point in on the first two days okay not the orientation day but the second day and the third day try to get as many interview slots as possible on the second day because by the time it comes to the third day all the interview slots get filled up so try to get as many interview slots as possible so that you can take the interviews and um, there's a huge interview hall and each company has a certain booths in the hall so when you get an interview slot you'll be given the location of the interview uh, hall and the specific booth that you need to go to for interviewing so i had an interview with electronic arts i was very happy i was very excited i prepared for it i went to the booth and um she was a very nice person she asked me a few questions i was somehow somewhat able to answer it but yeah um that was a nice experience to interview at ghc and my fifth point is keep calm because you need to so unless you're confident unless you keep calm um you're not gonna get that interview or you're not gonna get that job so don't worry about it and everyone is there to hire you and that's what this career fair is about so don't worry too much so coming to my sixth point so once the interview is done just thank them and be nice to them and um, they'll let you know in a, in a day or two if you're selected or not if not that's all right because a lot of other opportunities are ahead and stay in touch with them because you never know when and when an opportunity might pop up so just be nice and um, ping them on linkedin and thank them for giving you an interview slot and taking their time out for you also in the career fair don't focus on giveaways i know it's very tempting i know there are lots and lots of giveaways i got a quite a few i'll show them to you but um spend more of your time networking with people networking with other students other um employees they have come from all over the world so this is your chance to network and my final point if you want to pursue higher studies um there are also booths from schools and even poster sessions so try to go talk to them over there and find out what the latest research is about etc so i cannot stress how important networking is because networking is one thing that will take you places so on linkedin how you can network is that on linkedin instagram twitter find hashtag dhc hashtag dhc20 or um, even you can put up your bio in your linkedin as hashtag dhc20 etc so that other people can find you too so that way you can chat with attendees beforehand 
and make friends and set up a time that you'll be able to meet them so the first day will be pretty free for you so try to meet them try to go out with lunch right try to go out with them during lunch dinner etc and um, you can there are a lot of things you can talk about like hackathons other volunteer works and events that they are attending that you are attending do you have any common events and things like that so find someone new each day and hang out with them also there are abi booths anita bog institute booths so go to them and sign up for their events such as abi locals etc so that way you can network more even after gsc so build a strong network with them and follow up with those that you have met also find mentors finding mentors is so important because they guide you throughout your life and what better place than gsc to find mentors so this place is the one where you need to go about and talk to people you don't need to explicitly mention that can you be my mentor or things like that but just stay in touch with them and later um you can ask for their guidance and it just happens that they become your mentor so that way um you can get like you know, you can get guidance throughout your life and i found my men i found one of my mentors at jhc and she works in microsoft and she's an amazing mentor she's the nicest person i know and she was so sweet and she was guiding me and my friend through the entire resume and how to set it up and how the interviews happen and things like that so she mentioned about how important a mentor is and how important a sponsor is sponsor is someone who is sort of mentoring as a part of your company as a part of your team so um try to find mentors or even mentorship circles that you can attend where people go about um mentor tables and you can talk to either grad that they can be either graduates or people who work in companies so that way you it's like a speed networking and you try to find your mentor so i was a hopper in 2019 and that was very exciting for me so for a hopper the registration ticket is covered and from all over the world only 200 students get selected to be hoppers so you should be very lucky if you are one of those hoppers so when you reach um your hotel um the first day of the orientation uh, they'll actually tell you you need to collect your badge the hopper badge and they'll tell you what all work you need to do you will be assigned one or two um uh, locations and uh, you'll have to help them out over there so it's probably just 4 to 6 hours for the entire 4 days which is not bad at all so you get uh, so we got a uh, red t-shirts which show that we are hope hoppers and uh, if people need help they can ask, come and ask us so i had um, to help out during one invite only session which was exciting and um, one other event too so i will i will have more vlogs on my days um, my experience at jhc so that'll be coming up after the after this video so just stay tuned So um yeah that's about hoppers and there's even hoppers um launch where you can go and have food and re- take rest over there So there are a lot of other events that you can be part of such as poster presentation um abi awards I have linked all of them down in the description do check them out um and you can even be a speaker so um yeah so that link is also down there also i read an article by vidya shrinivasan who wrote about how to speak during the gas hoppers conference so that is very useful for people who want to speak there is also a recorded webinar by sundas khalid who i met during the gas hoppers conference she was very sweet and vidya shrinivasan and she had a call so do check that webinar out and um, that describes about how women can step up and participate and speak during the grace hoppers conference 
so i have linked that also down below and there are a lot of other scholarships that you can get such as uh, for helping out at ghc such as um pre ghc helping out scholarship uh, helping out at poster sessions you can be a blogger or note taker you can be a hopper and um so um, i have linked that too so check them out and check what is applicable for students and um, check what all is covered such as is it just registration ticket or is it everything and things like that so make sure you check all that and you apply appropriately other things that you can do is that you can read blogs on ghc that's what i did so read blogs on ghc read about other people's experiences follow instagram twitter hashtags on ghc there are a lot of updates on that companies also post um post their booth numbers or i mean post about themselves and tag ghc so you can follow these hashtags then follow facebook groups twitter groups and companies on facebook and twitter um also meetups happen before ghc too such as in new york california etc so attend those uh, meetups and you can meet people beforehand and network and then you can go to ghc and find more people so make your linkedin hash linkedin tags i mean um you can follow these tags as i mentioned hashtag ghc20 or going to ghc or hashtag hopper ghc also um there's a private email list called sisters which um is a group of over 7000 plus women in tech from around 60 plus countries so um i have uh, this more information on the video that i have attached in the description below so i have tagged it as must watch video on ghc so that has a lot of information so try to join the sisters group and um there's a lot of people almost everyone attends from the sisters group at to ghc so uh, i also watched a video by kritika vishwanath which i found super useful i have attached that link below too so that was about how to prepare as a student for ghc conference and i hope to attend ghc this year if you see me there say hi and i can get to know more about you also stay tuned for my videos on each of the four days of ghc because that's going to help you prepare more on how to pack your things and things like that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and do subscribe if you like it bye